Greetings to everybody and a warm welcome to this session. I would like to thank the, the organizers for having invited me to this 10 minutes talk. I am Marcello Viegas, Business Development Director for Italy, Spain, Portugal and UK at Proteogenics. On this occasion, I would like to introduce our proprietary cell line, Extencho, which is a new cell line in the market available for transient expression of recombinant proteins. So why to develop such a new cell line? While many pharmaceutical drugs will continue being small drugs probably forever, it is clear biotherapeutics are a rapidly growing portion of the total pharmaceutical market, accounting for almost one half of recent new drug approvals. This slide shows sales for the top 10 blockbusters in 2017 and 2018. As you can see, eight out of these 10 drugs are biotherapeutics. As these biotherapeutics are generally large, multi-domain, quite complex proteins, including many post-translational modifications, developing a cell line particularly suitable to express these challenging proteins becomes highly desirable. Our cell line extension derives from the parental Chow K1 strain. The reason to choose to work with Cho cells comes from the fact that Cho cells are the preferred hosts because, among other properties, they perform human-like glycosylation, they are resistant to viral infection, which makes them suitable for large production in bioreactors, and especially the modified strains are good expression hosts. How Extencho was developed is, as you may understand, confidential. However, just to be illustrative, let me say that one can manipulate the cell genome by knocking in or knocking out genes in such a way that we can enhance gene transcription, accelerate cell metabolism, delay apoptosis, or improve protein secretion. So, by using these genetically modified JOK1 cells in combination with an optimized uh, vector and an as well optimized transfection protocol, we achieve enhanced transcription, plasmid maintenance, and ultimately an extended transient gene expression. Once our cell line was developed, we set up several experiments to compare and benchmark the extensio versus well-known similar cell lines available in the market. Chow-S and XP Chow, both by Thermo Fisher, are probably the best known competitors. Our analysis demonstrated that extensio could achieve higher yields per liter when comparing these cell lines using their corresponding protocols. This enhanced performance of our extension is actually illustrated in this plot where 10 commercial therapeutic antibodies were produced in CHOS, SPCHO, and our extension cells. As you can see, SPCHO is already an improvement over CHOS, something already known and, and documented. But extension goes a step further, obtaining up to 40% higher yields per liter of these antibodies. No doubt, productivity is a critical factor at the moment of selecting a cell line for protein production. However, it is also clear that productivity alone is not enough. The protein we produce must also be well-folded and biologically functional. We carry out multiple experiments to assess protein integrity and functionality. Due to time constraints, I will show here just a few of them. For instance, here you see the result of a SEC HPLC analysis of antibodies produced in Extencho. This shows that these antibodies do not exhibit aggregation or incomplete antibody structures. The analysis of the secondary structure of an antibody can be done by Fourier transformed infrared spectroscopy. Here you see a comparison of the spectra obtained for the same antibody produced in the parental choke one in XPCHO and extencho, showing virtually the same structure in all cases. So there is basically no significant difference. The same technique can be used to assess the glycosylation profile. And again, we found a similar glycosylation pattern in the proteins produced in these three cell lines. 
This next slide shows some typical results of yields obtained in bispecific antibody production. I would like to underline that even here, this bulky FAB, FAB format could be produced at yields over 100 milligrams per liter. Those of you experienced in antibody development must surely know that IgM produced in pentameric form is very difficult to achieve. As a final example, though, I wanted to show you that this is perfectly doable in extent show. So talking about perspectives, it has been over two years since extent show was developed. Since then, we are using extent show internally for our recombinant protein productions when mammalian cells are needed. As many clients have already shown interest in using our cells, we are now working in the development of a kit that will include our proprietary cells, the plasmid and transfection reagents. No doubt we will announce the commercialization of the kit once it is ready. In the meantime, you can trust our scientific team to produce your proteins of interest for you. With this slide, I reached the end of my presentation. I will be happy now to attend to your questions. I would also like to invite you to connect with my colleague, Clara Chihua, or myself during this virtual event as we are both participating in it. Thank you.